going on, my brother? Hey, man, what's your, uh, what's your religion? What you believe in? You believe in Jesus Christ? Who did he come for? Who did Christ die for? Everybody? Hey, can I show you a scripture that that's not necessarily true? What can I, what did the Bible say? Oh, that's a good question. Let's get there. Come see for a second before you roll out. Let's go over John 316 real quick. Okay, but hold on, before you go, before you go, just come on, let's go over John 316 real quick. Just out of finding out the truth. Watch this. Give me that in John 316. Let's get it. Just come step off for a second, really. Just step for a second. Okay, well, let's, well we're going to go over from right here, all right? Read that, John 3, 16. John chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world Read. that he gave his only begotten son, uh -huh. that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, my question is this. Read that in Matthew 15, 24. It says, for God so loved the world, right, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Tell me what this means right here. Tell me. Okay, tell me what this means right here. Read that. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said. But he answered and said. This is Jesus Christ talking. Read. I am not sent. I am not sent. Read. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's not a contradiction, brother. He that in Isaiah 45, 17. Hey, we're gonna, we gonna, hey, we gonna show you the right context real quick. I just wanted to show you that to kind of throw you off. You know what I'm saying? But let's see what the world means. What does that mean? What does it mean by world? Give me that in Isaiah 45, 17. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Uh -huh. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. It says, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Read. With an everlasting salvation. Read on. He shall not be ashamed. No confounded world without end. He said, you shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. He called Israel the world. I got another place to show you. Huh? Exactly. So Israel is the world that he's talking about. Watch this. John 18, 20. Watch, watch. John chapter 18, verse 20. You know? Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. So Christ said, I speak openly to the world. Watch this. He specified what that world means. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue. In the synagogue, read. And in the temple. And in the temple. So Christ taught in the synagogue and in the temple, read. Where did the Jews always resort? Where the Jews resorted. The Jews of the nation of Israel. That's so right. the world he was talking about was the people of Israel. His That's people. Right. This is the context. But watch this. You said whosoever, right? You said whosoever, right? But let's show you what that whosoever means. This is showing you that the Bible is for our people. Christ didn't die for everybody under the sun. Right. He died for his chosen people. That's according to the Bible. We read that in uh, Matthew 15, 24. But watch this. Read. 2 and 21. Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. Uh -huh. This shall come to pass. That whosoever. It said that whosoever, right? It said it shall come to pass. That whosoever. Read shall call upon the name of the Lord. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall what? Shall be saved. Read. Ye men of Israel. Ye who? Ye men of Israel. He said the men of Israel. Read. Hear these words. He said men of Israel. Hear these words. You understand? Exactly. And it only applies to them. Because when you read in John chapter 3 verse 14, he lets you know what it's talking about. When you read John chapter 3 verse 1, it shows you that Christ spoke to Nicodemus. He was talking to another Jew. But the Christian church teaches you that Christ came for everybody. But that's not true. But if God loved the whole world, I want you to explain this. Oh, Romans 9 and 13. If God loved everybody in the world, explain this for me. Romans 9 and 13, read. Romans chapter 9. What's it? Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written. As it is written in another book. Read. Jacob have I loved. Who is Jacob according to the Bible? Jacob is the children of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He said, Jacob have I loved. Read. But Esau have I hated. Read it again. But Esau have I hated. Read it from the top. As it is written. As it is written. Read. Jacob have I loved. The children of Israel have I loved. Read. 
But Esau! But Esau, which is in the literal world, they still exist today. Read. Have I hated? If God loved the whole world, why does the Bible say Esau have I hated? Huh? You show? You show us because he sold his birthright? Hold on, hold on. You show us because he sold his birthright? Watch. Let's read on. Let's read on. Let's read on. Let's read on. Read. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? So some people might think that there is unrighteousness with God. Read on. God forbid. Read. For he said to Moses, uh -huh. I will have mercy on whom I have mercy on. Uh -huh. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. Read. So then it is not of him that willeth. So it's not of him that willeth. Read. No, of him that runneth, Read. but of God that showed mercy. Watch this, read on. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised up thee. What, what verse you at? Verse 17. Let me see, look down where it says in the world. Then they walk in. Like 11 and 12. Verse 11 and 12. Read verse 11. Watch it. Hold on, watch it. Verse 11. Verse 11. For the children being not yet born. So this is Jacob and Esau. He said, the children being not yet born, read. Neither have it done any good or evil. So they didn't do no good or evil. So it's not because of the birthright. He said, before they was even born, having not done good or evil, read. That the purpose of God, according to the election. According to the election, read. Might stand. So only for his purpose was this the case, read. Not of works. Not, not of works, not because he sold his birthright, read. But of him that called it. But of him that calleth. Read on. It was said to her, the elder shall serve the younger. This was before the beginning in Genesis 25 and 21. It was told to her that the elder shall serve the younger. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Read. But Esau have I hated. So it was even before he did anything for the purpose of God. So the thing is, John 3.16 is talking about the nation of Israel. God doesn't love everybody on the earth. Get out. Give me that in Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Bring it out. Amos chapter 3. Start at 1. Read that. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Check that fly out, brother. John 3, 16. We're talking about the nation of Israel. That's right. What up? Let's get, let's, let's, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get Okay. That's talking about being born again. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Get that. What I had you get? Hold that. Get, get, uh, get John chapter 3, verse 14. You saw it? Romans 9 and 4. Before you leave, I want you to hear this. Romans 9 and it's about the It's not about the flesh, right? That's what you say? Watch this. Romans 9 and 4. Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Read verse. Yes, why, why is it verse 3? For I was good. I mean, what? Verse 1. Verse 1. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I so lie. Paul says, let's go down. I say the truth in Christ. Read. I lie not. Paul is not lying right here. Read. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. Read on. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. So Paul said, I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Read. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Paul said, I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Read. For my brethren. For my brethren. Read. For my kinsmen. For my kinsmen. Read. According to the flesh. According to the flesh. To Read the up. flesh. Read on. Who are Israelites? Hold on, hold on. Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are everybody? Who are Israelites? So Paul said he made continual sorrow that his brethren can receive the promises. Who are Israelites? The men that pertain to the flesh. But watch this, read on. To who pertain to the adoption? So the Israelites, that's who the adoption pertains to. That's the adoption right. back to God through Christ, the adoption pertains to the Israelites. Read. And the glory. And the glory, which is the kingdom, pertains to the Israelites. Read. Oh, you say no? Read it again. Verse 4. Who are Israelites? Read. To who pertained the adoption? Who pertained the adoption to the Israelites? Read. And the glory. The glory pertains to the Israelites. Read. And the covenant. And the covenants. Old covenant. New covenant pertains to the Israelites. Read. 
and the giving of the law. And the giving of the law pertains to the Israelites. Here's the heavy part. Listen up, read. And the service of God. Read. And the promises. And the promises pertain to the Israelites. Listen to this. Who are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? The promises was given to our fathers. That's of a nation. You don't have the same father as a so-called white man. You don't have the same father as a so-called Arab man. Read. Who are the fathers? Uh -huh. And of whom? As concerning the flesh. He say, whose are the fathers? And of whom? As concerning the flesh. Read. Christ came. Read it again. Hold on. Listen to that. Read it. Who are the fathers? Who are the fathers? Read. And of whom concerning the flesh? And of whom concerning the flesh? Read. Christ came. That's why he said in Matthew 15 and 24, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. He is of the flesh, but it's also of the spirit. The, the Israelites, that's the only people that can receive the spirit of God. That's right. Huh? I got to do some more research. After I done read all these scriptures, I got to go research some more. Say it again. Uh huh. Okay. What other scripture? Uh huh. What what he was doing at that time? Uh huh. Right. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you. Give me that Ezekiel two and seven. you that the world uh, exactly why don't they understand why don't they understand because what because God what okay okay all right why is this what I had you get this is why people don't understand the Bible Isaiah 28 Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 this is why uh, verse 9 this is why the black man don't understand the Bible Hey, what's your name, brother? Keith, this is why our people don't understand the Bible. Let me show you this. Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 9. What is this? This is what the Bible says. Read. This is how you can understand it. Read. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he teach knowledge? Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who's going to understand the doctrine of God? Read. Then that are we from the mouth uh -huh. and draw from the breast. Read. For precept. We said for precept. Read. Must be upon precept. Read. Precept upon precept. Hold on, read. Line upon line. Line upon line. Read. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here's the part. Read. Hear a little. Hear a little. Read. And bear a little. And bear a little. Psalm 111 and 10. So in order to understand the Bible, you have to go to other scriptures to get to understand it. You can't just read John 3.16 and think you understand it. For God so loved the world. You understand? That world was talking about a specific group of people. It, it was talking about the Israelites. Right. What? The Spirit is the Word of God. John 6.63. Keeping the commandments. You understand? This is what gives you understanding. Read that. Psalm 111 and 10. Watch this. Psalm chapter 111 and verse 10. All right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding. A good understanding. Read. Have all day that do his commandments. If you're not keeping the commandments of God, you are not going to be able to understand the basic thing. Right. right. You're going to think that Christ came for everybody. He did not. He only came for our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. See? But because we don't keep the commandments, because we in the Christian churches and we learn in white supremacy doctrines, that's why we think Christ came for everybody. When we can show you a scripture saying he only came for his people. Right. You understand? Read on. His praise endured forever. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth